What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to export from a Revit schedule into Excel. So Excel is basically the, the main like spreadsheet software that everybody uses and before Revit architects uh, I guess used to use Excel to do all of the quantities and all of the schedules and all of the calculation and some people are still using it so sometimes you're going to need to do export from your Revit project into Excel uh, in order to use that information or to pass it on to some other engineers. So that's what I'm going to be showing you in this tutorial. But before we get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial. It helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. Okay, so here I am in Revit and let me just uh, create a quick little schedule. And this is the building that I've used for a long time. If you want to get it, first link in the description, you can go to my Patreon and download it. But anyway, let's go here to uh, to view, to create a new schedule. Here you've got schedules on the create tab. Uh, you open the drop menu and uh, I suggest you create just the schedule quantities. And here uh, we need to select what we're scheduling. So uh, let's go with Windows for this one. So let's just uh, select Windows. Phase, new construction, window schedule, we can leave it at that, go OK. OK, so now here we're setting up some properties. So for this, let's do count, uh, let's do family and type. Uh, OK, load that in. Uh, where is it? Count, load that in, maybe move it up a bit. Uh, do we have a name? OK, height, we need height. Uh, do we have width? Yeah, we want that. Uh, let's see what else, what else. Level, okay, that's useful. And uh, is there a name? Why isn't there a name? I can't seem to find it. Okay, anyway, let's let's just leave it at this. So uh, we just hit OK to create our schedule and for filter and sourcing and everything formatting, I'm just going to leave it as is. We just need a schedule to, to export. That's it. So hit OK. Here we go. Here's our schedule. So it's telling us the count, the, the height, the, the width of the window, the family and type. So we've got all of this, these things and let's just export this into Revit. So what you need to do is you need to go to File, Export, uh, go all the way down, find reports, and here you've got schedules. So this is where, where you find, here is where you export your image. So uh, it's just underneath that and you hit schedule. And now we can save it wherever. So let me go to my computer and let's just save it here at the D. Let's call it Windows Schedule. And now as you can see, it's not an Excel file. It's this Windows Schedule text file. So if I save it and here, yeah, I can leave it at this. And uh, now once I've done that, uh, let me minimize Revit and let me start Excel. Uh, you don't open it up, you need to first open up Excel and then you load it in. So let's just uh, open it up like this. Go to open, uh, go from computer. Uh, let's see, browse, uh, disk D, where's our window schedule? All files. Yeah, make sure you select here all files and let's see. Uh, window schedule, open that up. And you're going to get something that looks like this and you just hit finish. You don't really have to set anything, every, anything up because it's just perfect from the start, I guess. But anyway, there you go. So here's your schedule. It's loaded in. So you can uh, use this and maybe send it to somebody that needs to uh, needs to use this information in Excel. So you just go here to file and then you go to save or save as and you save it somewhere on your computer, wherever. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this quick little tutorial. I hope this helps. I hope this improves your workflow in the future. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions for any future tutorials, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Okay, that's it and I'll see you with another tutorial tomorrow.